Hey guys, in this lecture slash demonstration, what I would like to do is show you how to set up our welders. Now, this is the power source off of our welders. There is a welding cart and wire feed that is usually attached to them. I pulled this off because for stick welding, all we need to have is this power source. Your welders might look a little bit different out in the field, things like that, but ultimately they come down to just a power source. So the first thing I want to point out is the electrical plugs. This one's kind of a little bit more important for my students here in the shop because there are multiple three-pronged outlets that you could put this into. Now they are different. They're just slightly different. There's some little tabs that are pointing up or they point down. The big difference here is that all these plugs are 480. The problem is, is that some are set up for a 30 amp breaker or rated for a 30 amp breaker, I should say, or a, a 50 amp breaker or something like that. So the, the amperages are different. So make sure that whatever plug you are gonna use, it actually fits into. Don't try to force it, don't bend it, don't, don't change it in any way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug this in and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up the actual welder, get the leads plugged in and then you'll be set to go. All right, so now that we're all plugged in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our on off switch, flip it up. Now, this should take a couple minutes and then we should see readouts on our dials. All right, so now we can go ahead and we can set this up. All right, so now that we got the welder started, what we're gonna do, need to do is just flip down this black cover and you're gonna see here that we have the welding modes. The welding modes we wanna be in are either gonna be the CC stick soft or CC stick crisp. The way we adjust that is with this black button that says select under it. If we press it, it's gonna change from one to the next setting. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to go to the stick crisp, CC stick crisp. One more, come on. All right, perfect. The reason I like the crisp a little better, I think it's easier to start my arc um, but I really don't notice a heck of a lot of difference between this, the, um, the soft and the crisp. You're welcome to change it from one to the other and find out what you like. I usually take the hot start and we adjust it up to a number five. Um, it seems to help you start, start your arc a little bit better and it has a little bit more heat when you begin. Arc control, we usually have this set to a positive two on the crisp side and it seems to, that seems to be one of the best settings for me personally. So now we have this all set up. There is one thing I want to point out is it says CC. So the CC stands for constant current. All stick welding processes are a constant current process. The reason that these are uh, constant current processes is because you have control over how much arc length you have. And remember arc length is the distance from the end of the rod to the plate when that arc is jumping the gap. So when you have a longer arc length, what happens is the bolts go up. So you have an adjustment there. So we need to be able to go in and out with that arc length because we're not perfect and we, you know, we go in and out just depending on what we're trying to do or if we're trying to get around a position. So what they've done is they have a constant amperage going out to this welding rod. That way it can maintain a constant puddle and it can keep a consistent weld. Now when we move over to wire feeds, they're actually going to be constant voltage because now you're adjusting something different. So just remember for constant current, it's got a constant flow of amps or current going to that welding rod because you're able to adjust the voltage by the amount of arc length you give it. So let's go ahead and continue. So the last setting that we need to adjust is going to be how many amps we are running to this uh, electrode or welding lead. So we got our amps up here. We got our bolts up here. Now bolts, again, will be used when we need to use our wire feed. You will adjust the bolts. So like I said, it's constant current, so we need to set our constant amperage going out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set ours to, I would say, roughly 116, 117 for our eighth inch rod. If you were gonna be welding a 330 seconds, 7018, you probably would drop it down to about an 86 to a 90 somewhere in there. All right, once you set it, you're good to go. Now, what I'd like to finish up the video with is hooking up our leads. So I went ahead and turned the welder off just to be a little bit quieter. So if we're gonna hook up these leads, there are two lead connectors right here, and these are quick disconnects. So you might have an actual lug with a bolt on it, but we've gone through and we've put these quick disconnects on. And how quick disconnects work is you need to line up the peg with the slot, 
put it in and it's a half twist until it's tight and you're done. Now, we are setting this up for electrode positive, DC electrode positive. You can see that we have a positive terminal and we have a negative terminal here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stinger lead right here. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in, twist it, make sure it's nice and tight, and then we're done. We'll set that to the side. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ground clamp, take the quick disconnect, put it in here, twist, and you're done. After that, you're good to go, ready to weld. There's no other setup that you would need to be working with. Now, sometimes you will come up to this and it will be set up to do another process. The typical thing to see is the lead going up to the wire feed. Now, almost all welding processes have a ground lead, so the ground never changes. But what happens is this positive terminal will actually be unhooked and they will have the wire feed connector put into there. So just know that maybe you'll have to swap this one quite a bit. Otherwise, that's all you need. If um, you have any questions on how to set up the power source for stick welding, please let me know.